everybody. Welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. I'm back with Seth. And we're going to throw around some more Mordheim, City of the Damned, the 1999 Games Workshop Classic. Coming up on 20 years next year. Huh? Wow, Thomas. Does that make you feel old, buddy? <laughs> Makes me feel old. Yeah. Um, so uh, we'll be playing today with your Chaos Warband again. The Norse coming down to raid the Mordheim, fighting Graco's Privateers, my Reichlander Warband. So we'll show you the forces, we'll show you the table, and we'll get this underway. Graco's Privateers, the hero posse. We have Esteban Graco here in the, the middle with his two pistols and his sword. Then we have Diego and Balazar, my two champions, with a flail and a great open, respectively. We have Franco and Ilko, the two young bloods, and then Inigo, the sword who was promoted uh, up in the front there with his sword and helmet. And then we have two henchmen groups. We have Graco's Gunners, with some crossbowmen, and Graco's Gutters, which are the uh, the swordsmen. And they did get an upgrade. The Gutters have uh, two wounds each somehow, because of course they do. And then the Gunners have uh, nothing, actually. Nope, they're both skill four. No, they still have both skill four. Oh, they're initiative. No, they've got no upgrade. Here's the Marauders, what do we have? We got two Marauders, I've got my Condemned, my Chieftain, a Champion, uh, my Seer, and then this Champion sitting this game out. He's sitting the game because he got a smashed leg last game. Uh, you're very close leveling up with everybody, and you actually have an initiative boost on your um, Spearmen. So initiative five, which means they climb like champions. The is slightly lower than mine, so you can roll on the table and see what we are playing. Go for it. Four, four will be hidden treasure. So we get to mark buildings, search them, and potentially find hidden treasure. Okay, we'll set up for hidden treasure. Now we've got certain buildings that can be searched that can be outside deployment zone. So the tower can be searched by going inside it. The, we're gonna call the fountain area with all the boxes and stuff in area two. So if you end on this template, you can search it. The tower is one. And if you end in base contact with this building, you can also search it. Now you roll two dice. If you roll box cars, you find the treasure immediately. If you do not, uh, the last one will be the, the last one unsearched will be the one with the treasure in it. And you're trying to get it off the board. For choosing deployment zones, I'm gonna deploy over here. So I'm gonna have an eight inch deployment and we'll be back after we deploy. Deployed, we have Inigo and Diego, along with one of my archers and Franco. And then another crossbowman, uh, one of the gutters. We have Ilko, hanging out with Esteban and Balazar. And over here, a gutter and a gunner. You have Marauder. Marauder condemned Seer, Champion. Chieftain, Marauder. And Marauder, ready to rock and roll. All right, so first turn, dicing off to see who gets to make the first move. And I get a six. Well. Well then, well then, oh! I'll see you and raise you a six, try again. One, three, so you get the first turn, or you can make me go first. Um. As you don't have any guns, there's not necessarily an advantage to going first right now, yeah, and I can't move and fire, so. Can go first, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Make me commit. Charges? Let's do some runs. So we're gonna run five and then three, which should just get us up the ladder, yep. With this gunner. And do I find the treasure? Looking for boxcars, negative. Inside the tower has now been searched. Next up we'll have the swordsman make a run. He's gonna run around the building actually, he's gonna go this way. Head underneath. I'm gonna run his eight. Heading towards that cobblestone right there. And then Balazar, Ilko, who's blunt in one eye, by the way, and everyone else. I think you can almost make it on top of the boxes. Yes, you can. They're less than your base height, so you can just walk on top. Go. We'll go three and then five. Head up alongside this wall. His friend will do much the same. Running eight. Get up on this ledge. And Diego and. Inigo will run towards the other building to try and search it. Turn one, everyone ran, so no shooting, so it's over to you. Charges and Claire? No charges. Pro probably none, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just gonna run with everyone. <laughs> Sounds good. He's gonna go this way. Heading up with the spear guys with their first strike and mighty initiative of five. Just gonna check to see, okay. Who can see what? The other way, yep. Yeah. Head up now. You want to search that building if you go into base to base with it? Um, you stay outside of it, you don't have to. You can wait yeah, until it's I'll the last wait. building. I'm okay, wait. you're condemned, and then you're spearman. If you get onto the building template, you can search it if you can quite make it, but I don't think you can quite get there. He's gonna Next turn, go. you're shooting on either side, so it's back over to me. Charge to declare none. Uh, we're gonna keep on running, so conveniently, this tower can be entered into, and we're going to do so. So we're gonna go. Uh, three inside, there's a stairwell right there. 
So three and then three up would be six with two inches left. And we should be able to just use that last two inches to pop out this hatch right here. Blindy, go, go check. <laughs> You're gonna run over here, hit on this, and see if we find some treasure. Search those crates. That fountain looks important. Negative, so it's been searched. So we'll run, heading up with Balazar and Graco. And then this gutter will run forward to here. Not quite get in the way. And then I think you're happy, but you want some line of sight, so you're just gonna walk four and hit this corner over here. Run! Uh, do I just search it now and then force the issue? No. <laughs> no, we run around the wall. We're going over this way. We're gonna run around the building and not search it. He's gonna stand still oh, so yeah, he fires crossbow, yeah. yep, right? Yep. And so will he. So uh, it's all my moving. Let's do some crossbow shots. So right here, I'm gonna go four, long range. Uh, we'll take a shot at your front marauder there. On a three plus, goes to a four plus because of range. Hits, and it's strength four, so a three to wound. Wounds, and then yeah. you have a shield. Do you have light armor as well? No, just shields. Anyway. Just a shield, so yeah, minus so one. Sense. Yep, and then let's see what I got. Four, you're stunned face down. I used to be a marauder like you, then I took a crossbow bolt in the knee. See anything yet, but he can, so Franco's gonna take a shot. He has no relevant skills, and he's blessed skill two and he moved. And it's long range, so it's a seven, so it misses. And two, over to you, sir. Charge the declare. No charge yet. None as of yet. All right, movement phase. He'll roll over to just knock down. He's gonna go search the building, as we do. Roll that box cars. Roll that. Nope. Treasure is in this cottage. It's the only not decrepit thing on this table, which means it's probably got something valuable in it. Search the building, just move into contact. Yeah. So you automatically find the treasure and you'll be given a treasure bead. Now, whilst he's carrying the treasure, he halves his movement and cannot run. If two people carry the treasure together by moving to base to base, they can move a full move. Moves. All right, gonna run with my champion. Oh, we're gonna force the issue. Go take some cover. Over here. Run, okay. I'm gonna run over here. And hopefully avoid being shot. Avoid being. We're just gonna run on over. And go take. Go take the flank back. I need to dispel my magic, so it's back over to me. Charges to declare. I don't have any now. Am I marsh block? Will be the question. With Balazar, yes. With Graco, no. So he's only going to go four. So I'll just come forward and wait for you. Be like, what's up, nerd? Let's do this. Everybody else is just gonna keep plugging away, hiding for where the treasure is. We hear there's treasure over there. I'm gonna go two. Is crossbow 24 or 48? Four. Crossbow is 30 inches. 30, and then four okay. over to here. And then I'm gonna go four and then eight. Hang up behind Ilko. He's gonna run eight, one inch, and then two. We'll put them behind this pillar over here. Inigo and Diego. Go, Diego, go. I'm gonna run over here. <laughs> That's right, I, that's right, I made a Droid Explorer joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing that just happened. I'm run over to here. We'll sit still, as I think they can all see somebody. Actually, he can't. He'll run then. Uh, it'll cost him one to get down off this, so he's only gonna go seven. And he'll hop down to there. This bowman is going to shoot him. Now he's in cover for minus one, and he's at long range for minus one, so I'm gonna hit on a five here. Animus. One of my gunners will shoot the Marauder again as he lays bleeding on the ground. That's what we do, just keep shooting until I stop moving. Uh, on a fa four because of long range, and miss. My guns, uh, there are no melee, so it's back over to the Chaos Warbands. Uh, Champions gonna charge. Champion. Into Balazar. Yeah, Balazar cares not for your Chaos Warrior any yeah. charges. Can he charge through that or is that Sure, yeah, or you just go around it. It's no big deal. All right, so yeah, he can get in. Oh, I guess I should have said he was charging. That's the fine, game. yeah, charging Diego. Charging Diego. Diego, sure, yeah. pure just. Oh. I'm fine, seven. Now a fight, and so remaining moves, you can stand up with your Marauder. Alrighty. And he can walk but not run. The sacrifice and take one for the team. Marsh block everybody with a spear. For the Kurgan! And then what about your boss? Another He's just gonna, do you think, uh, I guess I you're should, not I'm gonna try to you're not Marsh okay. block, yeah, you're then, fine. Um, he is, um, would this even be considered cover? Yeah, but for sure. Even I mean, from people covers, out of, out of it's, it's how much of you can I see? Any part of you is extraordinary in cover. Oh, then he's just gonna go here. Forward two, and carrying the treasure. Guns, I think we're right to melee, which one do I do first? 
Uh, we'll do these guys. Okay, Balazar fighting the, the Marauder Champ. So I am weapon skill four because I am also a champion. And yes, we want to attack, so swinging at you with the Your sword, sword hits, yeah. can't parry that, even though I had a parry. And then your strength four, so you move on a three. No, I don't. It's four actually because I have a level up, so your strength four, which means you need a four to wound. You do it, I don't have any armor, so what happens to me? Knock down, ouch, right in the helmet. Uh, oh, and then over here, which one are you going to do first? Do you have your charging spear? On it. Not into an ego, all right. Hit him, he's weapons go four. You hit, can't parry that. And then toughness three. You don't wound. In the bagger, the black one will be the dagger. Uh, weapons go four, so I you on threes. And then strength three. I wound. Attacks with the sword. It also hits and does not wound. So one shield save. All right, Five, six. Negative, and then what happens to him? He is knocked down. You get your crazy charging condemned. What is her weapon skill? Because it's still random. All right, weapon skill four. Four, so I'm weapon skill four as well. Hit me on a four. Then how many attacks? Two, Two attacks. On fours. Two hits, can't parry them. I don't have anything yeah, to parry with. Yeah, and your strength yeah. is? Good. Two. Two. So five is to wound maybe. Two. One wound is a crit. What kind of crit? The just two rolls kind. Do I have any saves? Do them. He's out. Experience point for the condemned. Hey, well that's all the melees. And I've now lost a guy, one of my champions. So it's charge to declare for me. Hmm. Well, Franco, hey there, Ilko. It's time to take one for the team. We're gonna charge over here. And we're gonna declare a charge in this swordsman into your boss. I am in range. Okay. Stand up and stress. Right, I have any other charges? Yeah, the boss is gonna charge into this guy too. But he'll stand up and strike last. Remaining moves. We're march blocked, so we're just going four. So that's going to be half this gauge, just wandering around. We're gonna go through the rubble actually and just go three, because it'll have our move. Run run territory, so you're gonna run around here and not shoot this turn. You continue to be on Overwatch. <laughs> uh, and it's stabbing time. Targets to shoot over here because everyone's engaged uh, at all. So it's just fighting, I think, that we're gonna be doing. So all I have to do is wound you here. I'll take you to action. Uh, so I have two sword attacks, which will be the white dice, and one dagger attack. I have to roll the wound on a four. I get one, uh, but it's the dagger, so you get a five plus save. You get plus one save from daggers. And yeah. you pass, so you're fine. Over here, Fra uh, Ilko charge with his halberd into that guy, but you have first strike, so you get to go first if you want. He's weapon skill two, makes sense. Yep. On a three, with your spear. Yeah, miss. That's not relevant. All right, well, he'll hit you back with his halberd on a four. And hits, and he's strength four because of his halberd. Doesn't move. Pistols on Esteban in the first round. So he's got two base attacks, plus one for the extra pistol. Uh, hitting on threes, opens go four. And then strength four, so winning on threes. All wound at minus two. Uh, so let's so, just uh, see if you get shot in the face. You indeed get shot in the face. To the swordsman charging into your boss. So he has a sword attack and a dagger attack. So the sword will be the white, the dagger will be the uh, black. The fencer allows him to reroll on the charges sword attacks. They both hit though, you can't parry a six. Uh, so then your strength, or toughness is four, my strength is three. Nothing. Weapon skill five against weapon skill four, on a three. Nailed it, can't parry that. And then strength four, does not wound. here for lots of reasons. I stood up and also have a double-handed weapon, so you can try and knock him down again with your one attack, hitting on, I think, a four. Oh man, I forgot that if you have a, you get an extra attack for having two weapons. Oh, he has two weapons, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought uh, he had a shield. I knew well, what the one sitting out has a yeah, shield. Yeah, yeah, yep. Got it, got it. So you have two attacks. Now mark which one is the club. It's a different colored dice. All right, club is the red dice. You got it. And one hits, so you hit with the sword. And then it's a four, four three wounds, sorry. Four to wound, actually, because I'm, I'm toughest four. Yep, yep. You do, and then what happens to him again? He's out, he just chops his head off. Poor Balazar. I'm down two out of 11, so almost a route test for me next round. And it's your turn three. Charges? Um, hmm, the big charge choice. Do I charge my boss is the question. Charge man, do it. So, yep, he Go get him. And then you're in combat over there. You want to charge over here? I'm gonna charge with her. And you go, okay, fear test. Uh, Lich baits, and I fail, so I hit you on sixes. And then he can stand up for many moves. And strike last. We'll march to freedom, going two yep. inches, avoiding all the guns. Uh, you sure want to go that way now? Because you're walking into the two guns. Well, then. You can go back. It's safer to go back at this point, uh, building. 
There you go. So, uh, no shooting melees. Who wants to stab who? Uh, we'll do the condemned Condemned? First. Weapon skill is? Six, oh man, six, hit on threes. Attacks. Two attacks. Two attacks. I'm weapon skill four, hit on threes. Two hits, try and parry one on a five. Nope, strength right. is? Yeah, so you hit what? lots, but you need sixes to wound. All right. Nope. Well, I get to fight back. I'm gonna stop Spear Guy, because <laughs> of course I am. <laughs> I had sixes to hit, though. Uh, so the white ones will be the sword, the black one will be the dagger. Hit with the sword, and then forced wound. Doesn't use last, because he stood up. Yeah, trying to hit me back. On four. Hits. I wasted my parry. Wounds. And what happens to him? I use stunned face down. You're over here, the charge Esteban. Or do you want to do your boss? Uh, we'll do my champion on your boss. Okay, two attacks. Uh, which one's gonna be the maul? The uh, red dice is mace again. Okay. So your weapon skills four, so you miss with both. Yes. Okay, well, first round of combat, so my pistols are reloaded. And uh, that means I hit you on fours. One hit, and it's strength four, so I wound you on threes. Doesn't wound. Uh, champion on the swords, man. Yeah, it's your chieftain with one attack. Hit on a three, weapon skill five. Hits, you try and parry on a six. I don't. And then your strength is four, so you win him on a three. You do, I have two wounds. So I just take a wound. Back from the swordsman, white one will be the sword. Both hit, can't parry a six. Um, and then it's fours, fives to wound. I'm down two fellas, so I'm still not quite making a break test, but we're we're getting close. <laughs> so charges. Uh, yeah, someone's gotta come help the boss, I guess. So Franco's gonna charge in over here. Uh, do we need to help him? Uh, yes, we're gonna charge as well. Charge your chieftain with this crossbowman. So we'll make it in. Put him next to him. Perfect. Uh, walk our two to be able to see your sorcerer with Franco. This one in a million bow shot. Run down with his other gunner down the ramp. Try and get in range of him later. He's gonna roll over. <laughs> That's all you can do right now. So short range, cover, and move it makes it impossible for me to hit you with the bow, unfortunately. Uh, because I'm only bliss skill two with Franco. Sorry, Franco. No one else able to fire right now because everyone's in melee or behind the shot of the building. So up here, this gunner doesn't have any line of fire. And that means we do some combats. Let's do Franco over here. Sorry, Ilko charging into your uh, champion with his halberd, hitting on a four. Hits. Uh, can't parry a six either. Um, strength four, toughness three, so a three. Wounds him. Uh, what kind of armor you got? Any? Um, none. None? none. Okay, so what, 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 what's the result? You're just taking an action. The young boy just cleaves your head. Charged with my crossbowman. Let's have a sword, weirdly enough, I think. You're actually weapon skill three, hit on a four. Hits you. Uh, five to wound. Doesn't wound. Right back, your initiative better than me. So you can stab either one. Alrighty, we'll go, who did the crossbowman? The swordsman hasn't fought yet, so you probably want to stab the swordsman. Ah, uh, okay, yep, gotcha. There you go. Hitting on a four, three actually swings, you're weapon skill five. Hits, can't parry that. And then. Uh, to wound, wounds. Yeah, and what happens? Wounds. Strength four against seven is three. Yep. And what happens? I'm down my last wound. So he is knocked down. So he won't get a strike this turn. Right. So top of four. Oh, no, over here. That's right. Yeah, you can try and wound me. All you got to do is wound me. So you auto hit. So roll how many. Who do you want to get the experience? I guess is the. Yeah, so we'll do yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> so well, how many attacks? First. Um, you, so auto hit. you auto hit. You auto hit. The relevant. Three. So three attacks. Three. And the strength is four. So three on threes. All you got to do is get one three plus and I'm going to you got him, then you get the XP. You get a route test. So I believe you are as well, because you've got two guys down out of the six that you started with. Turn. Yep, yeah, you go first. There's your bait. No, I thought I made you go first this go round. I just finished my turn. Oh, okay. Yeah, yep, so now it's the start of your turn, so you're yep. making a test. Oh, okay. You're fine. Run. He will run his. Come back eight. Because you don't have to shoot the closest target unless you're elevated. So that's going to save Mr. Treasure Chest. Condemn going to run two. He's going to keep sneaking two. Keep moving. Keep on going. Keep on, keep for high ground. Shoot him out, just start pummeling. Yep, All right, pummel my crossbowman, because my other guy is uh, knocked down, but you can't target him if a friend's engaging you. So, one attack on a three, weapon skill five against weapon skill three. Hits him. Yep. Uh, I don't have a sword, so I can't parry that either. And then strength four against weapon three. That's a wound, what happens? And he is stunned, so he is face down now. Clobbing feeble humans, I <laughs> can't quite seal the deal. Uh, so start of my turn, uh, I'm gonna have to make a right test on leadership eight for Esteban. Don't flub it, 
Peace out. The treasure, the humans decide, nope, Woo. this is too much. We're heading home. What's more expensive than normal guys? Swordsman already, yeah, but my crossbowmen, I'm, I'm lucky nobody died here because they are, uh, they, they are their, their crossbow itself is worth more than they are. Ooh. So <laughs> they are quite expensive to recruit. So my one naughty roll for the swordsman that died, he is fine. And I'm gonna make some naughty rolls for the other guys. I forgot him the entire game over here. He didn't actually die, so I didn't have to roll for him. So let's just do, uh, first of all, Inigo, uh, Black as High. 34 injuries, so now he's up in skill three. Then Diego, go Diego, go. 35, which is nervous condition, minus one initiative. Uh, and then Balazar is dead. Great, so uh, you've got how many guys making naughty rolls? I think one Spearman and one Champion. All right, well, so what die is gonna be high? Um, Spearman first. Sure, so right. just three plus, he's okay. He's oh, fine. Goodness. And then, what should, uh, what should be the high dice? The blue dice will be high dice. Okay, for, and this is for your Champion. 36, you lose all your equipment. Uh, Bob, so he's gonna lose his 13 points for the stuff and you can buy that back. Esteban, uh, Franco, Ilko, and Inigo all leveled up. So let's see what happens with Esteban. He gets a four, which is a new skill. Aside for a five plus save in combat. Diego uh, did not level up. Franco gets a seven, which is Blissco weapon skill. He's gonna be Blissco skill three, hooray! Who's actually strength five, I realized. He had a strength increase. Gets a four as well for an extra skill. Uh, he already has step aside. We're gonna give him strike to injure. Finally, Inigo, he gets a three, which is a skill. We'll give him, I guess, strike to injure. You, you had almost everyone level up. So you had your champion that didn't sit out. Uh, and then you're condemned and your boss. Roll for your boss yeah. first. What do you get? That. Snakes, so any new skill. Aside for a nice five plus save in melee, as that is his jam. You're a seer. And when you generate a new skill, you can also learn a new spell if you want. Uh, so roll and see what you get. Uh, eight will be a characteristic increase. Roll again. He gets plus one leadership. So if your leader goes down, he'll pick up the rope and be leadership nine. Better leader than your leader. <laughs> and then you're condemned. Now, if your condemned gets a stat increase, you can roll and try and keep a permanent stat if you want. So let's see what you get. You get eight, roll to C. Uh, three is initiative, so you become plus one initiative. Increase the initiative five. In. Gets a four, new skill. Rainer for step aside, as you guys aren't currently wearing armor. Exploration rolls. I have three heroes that survived, but I did not win the mission, so let's see what we get. I get a two, five, and four. It's going to get me two weird stone shards and no doubles. Shards, and what do you get? You have three heroes plus one because you won. Yep. And get a total of 15, which will give you three shards and double fours, which means you find a straggler. Now, <laughs> you're a chaos warband. You can give the leader of the warband plus one experience by sacrificing the straggler. <laughs> so why not? Yep. Frack open your treasure chest as well. You get 3d6 gold coins. Just add it right to your bank. So 3d6. Uh, you get 15 more. So you get a total of 80 gold in the bank. Five plus, you find d3 pierces of weirdstone. So d3, or sorry, five plus, first of all. You do, d3. Oh boy. Find one extra piece. So actually, bank that. I would bank it, because you only get five more crowns for selling oh, one more piece. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I just banked that. So you got one in the bank. And then you have on a four plus a pseudolite armor. Nope. A sword on a three plus. Yes, you get a free sword, and then D3 gem is worth ten gold crowns. On a five. On a five, okay. Nope. Shopping all done. I've hired a new the champion. This is gonna be uh, Sancho here with a sword and a dagger and he will replace Balazar and hopefully do better. <laughs> uh, and then everything else is maintained as it was. That cost me 45 to buy his sword and he comes with a free dagger. So that is my current state of my warband, uh, but we had experience drop. You're gonna re-equip the boss by selling his uh, sword and shield and the free sword you got too and buying him two axes instead. So now he's a stabby murder machine. Uh, and did you hire anybody else? Like the last Marauder? Yep. Do you get a three or more? You do, you have enough experience to do so. 30 crowns, so there's the current state of the Chaos Warband. So there you go, driving off the Reichlanders trying to steal their treasure that was rightfully yeah, theirs. We don't have much and you try to take what little we have. <laughs> You're Vikings, you came to our town to steal everything, uh, to ride off on our sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so the, um, the, uh, the, the good second game for you, you had all your guys level up, you found the treasure, managed Nobody to secure died. it. Nobody died. Yeah. You've murdered a bunch of my dudes. I replaced Balazar finally. I kind of felt bad because he was just, 
Great weapons are hot garbage in the beginning unless you have access to strength skills. <laughs> but I liked the model so much. But he died, I don't feel bad at replacing him now. So we'll see if Sancho does better um, and finds his Kyoto in this mission. So we'll see you in two weeks for another one of these. We're gonna play one more game uh, in this little series with your Marauders coming to Mordheim. Uh, and, uh, and we'll be back for that. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Then I'm Ash. Have a great I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathway Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.